Right, follow the torches, cause past me obviously knows what I was doing. I hope. If not, that's gonna get real bad real fast. Oh, oh look. Uh, you wanna come over here and get me, buddy? I don't think past me knew what I was doing. I don't have any fire resistance. That was very loud. I'm actually got nine. Oof, it's not bad. You got loud resistance. Right. Um. Whoa. It just came out of nowhere. Right, um... Oh, hi, dude! Ah, oh, crap, this is not gonna end well. Could, could you not set me on fire? That would be grand. Oh, come on. Sir, if you want me, you're gonna have to come over here and get me. I ain't making this easy for you. Okay, so. Got 11 blaze rods. That'll do. Let's get the crap out. You don't want you don't want quartz. Hello little baby dude. We have power. What's up, my guy? So I wonder what this is. Awkward me up. And the puffer fish. What dude wanted a uh, Was it this dude? Sir, would you like some quartz? Ah, it is you. I don't want you to recharge my shovel. Oh, it's the shovel. Okay, so to start off with, I did want to immediately go to the Ocean Monument and, you know, go fight the Elder Guardians and maybe get a tide trim and what have you. But the problem with that was that I didn't have any water breathing potions and given my history of dying a lot when it comes to stuff like this I thought it'd be better to nip to the nether first and get some blaze rods and do the whole thing. Now the trick with the TNT um, I actually learned from our friend Amanchi. you can find his link um, to his channel in the description as well as all the other divergence links from the SMP, this obviously isn't the SMP, this is my Let's Play World um, 
which some of you may or may not know that me and Diggin Truths have the exact same seed. We have the exact same Let's Play world, um, but we're obviously each doing our own thing with our own world. And by, I think by the end of the year, we're going to sort of come back and reevaluate and see how different both our worlds are with each of us using the exact same seed and you know who's done what at what part and you know it's it's i think it's going to be a really interesting experiment and it's really got me more into back into um having a bit more passion for let's play world considering that like i did lose my like five-year-old world and i was like really bummed about that um, we went away on holiday. I must have left my computer on standby. There's been an update or something. The computer's died. I lost everything. I had to. I even had to reinstall Windows. Like I had to um, go on to a different computer, and make a whole new backup. Bit, like you know, backup Windows disk. Uh, do that and then like come back and reinstall it all. And it's it was such like it was so disheartening and. Like, while I still have um, a copy of my old long-term world, um, I lost an enormous, an enormous amount of progress. Uh, and I also lost my passion for it at the same time. And as well as that, I lost... Um, it got very, like, janky to play and very weird to play. And it just... It just I just couldn't do it anymore. So anyway, um, as you can see, we get some Elder Guardians and we did manage to get the tied armor trim. So bonus, that is a lot easier to get in this one than it was to get in the Divergence SMP. Let me tell you that, oh my God. Like we went to so many ocean monuments and like I lost all of my stuff, like all like my good gear. Like I think it was like my start off gear as well all my good gear in an ocean monument because we went there to like kill the elder guardians and I drowned and lost of stuff and we couldn't find it and obviously time runs out and it despawns and it is what it is so quite lucky to manage to get that here now as you can see I'm blocking us off with sand um, I do want to come but there are two ocean monuments quite close together uh, in this seed this is the first one and they're quite close to spawn so if you want to use this seed type the word nothing into your seed bar and you will spawn right next to a zombie village these ocean monuments will be nearby um you're close to another um normal village as well so and um quite close to a mine shaft as well it's like it's a pretty pretty good seed to start off with especially if you want to start like a long-term survival world so as you can see i'm blocking all the water in the sponge room i'm gonna like take all the sponges out and then i want to take the sponges back to my base and then cook them up and what i want to do is i want to um i want to actually block off the ocean monuments and then drain them all of water and i know it's a thing that's been done by like people before um I don't think I have actually done it and as some of you like some of my regulars might know I am trying to do things in Minecraft that I haven't done before and completely draining an ocean monument is something I don't think I have done before um, you guys might <laughs> may recall that my, my memory sucks so I might have done it a long long time ago and I don't remember but you know technically if I don't remember did it really happen uh, the probable answer there is yes because you know it is what it is but as you see got all my spoongies cleared all the room out blocked this bit down here so this water can drain down and then if need be i can just like you know dive straight into this room next time so that room has already been cleared boom so i just need to clear out the rest of the ocean monument and that is going to take a long 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 time so i think my plan is to surround it in glass and then drain it top to bottom that way and just see how it goes but anyway thank you so much for watching folks um it has been it's been a bit of a weird episode i'm slowly getting back into things uh sort of like uh was having like a bit of a bummer for like a week or two there and the kids have been on holiday and it's been absolute chaos but anyway getting back into it so thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one goodbye